Okay, maybe you saw the video I put up, what is yesterday now, uh, about making some of these. And I'll insert some uh, pictures of what these actually are. It's a two-piece 3D printed plastic cup with 4.177 BBs sandwiched inside. And uh, over the weekend, today's Wednesday, over the weekend I was watching some videos. I was actually reading about, or watching a video report about the uh, drone strikes in Moscow that shut down the Moscow airports uh, apparently about five, six days ago. And one of the suggested videos was anti-drone rounds or like, I think it was actually Russian anti-drone rounds. But what was interesting about the suggested video picture is the picture showed rifle ammunition. So I was immediately intrigued. Uh, went down a little bit of a rabbit hole, watched eight, 10 videos that were out there. Most of them were the same reused footage from one set or another. Some were showing uh, Russian development, some were showing Ukrainian development. But at the end of the day, what was very clear was that in uh, the Russian mid-level cartridges, the Ukrainian mid-level cartridges, and 5.56, the U.S. Uh, NATO mid-level cartridge, these types of multi-projectile uh, SABO controlled or ca uh, contained rounds were being fired out of typical infantry rifles. So I've got a ASAR here, uh, 223 Wild Chamber. Uh, I've got some 5.56 ammo. And obviously this is not a regular projectile. I've got some of these homemade, presumably anti-drone rounds here that we're gonna test out. So uh, first I wanna make sure that they actually fire, see if they actually do that. I've got a target set up uh, probably about four feet wide, uh, two and a half feet tall in the middle, just a bunch of pieces of cardboard. And I just wanna see what happens. I'm just gonna stand about, I don't know, 15 uh, yards away or so and see if we get anything, see if this actually fires, see if it cycles the gun. What I'm gonna do for the first test is I'm gonna put, because of the chambering issue and friction and all that stuff, I'm just gonna put a regular round underneath of one of these rounds. And that way, what I'll be testing is, does this round fire? Do the projectiles generally go where the gun is pointed? And then uh, subsequently, does the rifle cycle enough to put that next round in and chamber it? If it chambers a regular round, good, that tells me it's cycling the gun. Then the question is, you know, how much shaping and polishing, these things are kind of rough. Uh, as you can see there, probably up at the top. So we'll, we'll figure out what's going on there. But uh, I don't know, interesting, fun project. And again, uh, drone prototype round, anti-drone round, and a regular round underneath. Notice also I took off uh, the muzzle device. So don't want to get anything caught up in there. Uh, kind of a standard shot shell thing out of traditional solid projectile rounds is you don't want a compensator or ports or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'm just avoiding any potential problem there as well. See what happens. Yeah. So very low uh, impulse from the recoil. Very low impulse. Not terribly surprised that uh, I didn't get any cycling there. So that's something to work on. Let's see what happened uh, downrange if anything. Definitely looks like the plastic hit there. Something might have hit uh, in that area. Something might have hit there. There's some plastic embedded there. All right, second shot. Let's see. We did get ejection that time. So that's the, the warm, hot brass there. So the round did have enough energy to eject, but it did not give us enough energy to get the next round into the chamber. So I had an empty chamber strike there. All right, let's uh, try again. All right, third try, same test. I'm actually gonna get a little closer. That's what I'm gonna do. I really wanna see what's happening with the pattern per se. Okay, same thing. We got ejection, but we did not get a complete cycle. And let's see what we got on the board here. Uh, definitely something pushed through, probably plastic. Maybe something else right there. 
Something uh, hit there. Something might have hit right there. But we're definitely not getting anything uh, that I think would take out a drone. Well, that was a fun project that we tried to uh, make work here in just a couple of days. Uh, thanks to Mr. Snow for the original help with the files. I know he's working on this down in Florida too. Uh, just something fun to play with might actually come of something. I don't know. But in the meantime, uh, failed experiment. So while we have something happening uh, with these little payload carrying 3D printed Sabos, uh, 4.177 caliber BBs, uh, nothing that's going to take down a drone or that I'm going to try to suggest somebody carry around in a combat zone. So shotguns it is for now.